Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Randy from the Pen and Journal here. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Georgia. It's nice and sunny outside. It's a little chilly. Uh, not getting any rain. That's great, but it's a beautiful day. So, uh, a little cold. So, got up early this morning and uh, went. And I've been watching my grandson wrestle. He's wrestling wrestling tournaments. He's not six years old. So we had one about 30 miles from here. So I got in my RAV4 and managed to hit a deer. Uh, pretty good bit of damage on my RAV4, it's drivable. So, you know, nobody hurt, just the deer, you know. Took pictures of everything, but it's just the bricks of life, you know. You get your knocks, so you just pick up and go on and move on. So, that's what I got insurance for. So, the video today I want to discuss or talk about is an XL Parker Jotter, an extra large Parker, Parker Jotter. Now, I've got a video on this channel that I did a few years ago. Uh, not real long, but I had bought one, and I saw them, saw them when they came out, so I bought one, and it was the green color, kind of like an OD green. Somewhere along the line, it worked. I, I lost it. And I don't normally lose my Parker pins or any, usually anything, but I lost it. So couldn't find it. So I uh, just never did order one. Uh, so I did order one a week ago and Amazon delivered it today. So I did order it off Amazon. No, actually, I'm, I take that back. I ordered it off of eBay because I was a good deal on eBay. Sorry about that, but it was eBay. I took a Find them on eBay for about 14 bucks. I think it was $13.95, and I'm like, man, I'm going to grab this thing. So, uh, here's the pack it came in. I just went ahead and took it out of the pack, because you know how this plastic stuff is. takes a little effort. So, it's got medium blue ink, and that's what it looks like. Uh, refillable, rechargeable, ballpoint pen. So, it's got the Parker logo on it. Uh, I'm trying to look on here. It said on the, uh, yes, yeah, made in France. You can see, see this right here. So it's made in France. It said on eBay it was made in France. So it's brand new. Uh, so this is it. And it's got the green barrel to it. Now, this is the very one I had. If you maybe two, three years ago, and I did a video. You can look on my channel, and you can see that I did a video. Uh, so, I never did order another one, so I did like this pen. Now, this this one is made in France. It's got the Parker stamping all on it, uh, right in here. Probably can't see it, but it's hard to see. It's got the, got the stamping. Uh, it's got the arrow clip that is my favorite pocket clip of any of them and they're good pocket clips because it don't bend it goes back in good spring metal so they do make two or three of these that are that are made in china so and i try not to buy chinese stuff sometimes i know you can't help it but if i can buy one made in france i'm gonna buy that so they got a black one and they got like a goldish color when they got like three or four different colors that are made in China, but they got this color. Then they got one that's black, I believe, from here down. Then they got like a kind of a metallic gray looking. It looks good, and maybe another color. I don't remember, but uh, this is this is green. And they they call it. I forgot what they call it, but uh, it looks like an OD green. Uh, see, Jotter XL. It looks like an OD green. They don't have the green on the on the pack. Uh, says made in France. You can see right there, made in France. I'm not, see, I'm not lying. It's made in France. Uh, so just like the small jotters, the normal size jotters made in France. So I said it's got your pocket clip, but this, this pen is bigger. It's, it's longer and it's thicker than, than this one. This is your normal size, normal Parker jotter, okay, which I love. And, and I'm not going to lie, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a pen fanatic and a knife fanatic. Uh, so, uh, 
and Parker Jotters, of all the pins out there, they're my favorite. You know, I just like, I just like the the colors they have. I like the the build of them. I like the pocket clips. So, not gonna apologize. They're great pins, but you can see. You can see uh, the difference. You can see the difference in the size of them. And you can see the difference, and I'm going to take it apart. You can see the difference in the, you know, the diameter of them. Okay, you can see this is the XL, and this is the normal size. So you, you can see that difference. It takes the same takes the same refills. Okay, so you can see, you can see the difference. This is the XL and this is the, the regular size. So it's bigger, uh, it's bigger, it's bigger for your grip. That's one of the things that I that I do like about this pen. Uh, it's, it's got a little bigger girth to it. Uh, than this one does, which, you know, these write great. You know, I hold them good, but it seems like maybe the XL is a little, maybe a little, a little better gripping, you know, uh, because of the diameter of it, the girth of it. Uh, got the same crisp click as a regular Parker Jotter. It's just bigger. And I'm going to slide it right down in here. Fits down in my pocket. Perfect. So this will probably be, be my new everyday carry pen because I carry a pen every day. Uh, carry, them, carry them no matter where I go. Uh, I'm going to have one on me in a shirt pocket or a coat pocket or a vest pocket or whatever. I'm going to have them on me. So uh, I'm going to start carrying this one. Uh, and I'm going to do the, of course, going to do the writing test. Um. Uh, so, I'm going to write extra large because this is an extra large pen. That's it. It writes good. Uh, got me a funny face. So, it writes good. Of course, it does because the ink, the ink in these things, the, these, the Jotter ink, Quick Flow ink to me is a good ballpoint ink. It, you know, I don't have any complaints on the way they write. Uh, they write very well. Uh, just like just like these do. And like I said, I like the green. I like the I like the OD, and you can tell. You can tell. I like OD, and I like blue. Blue Benchmade, yes, I love blue. But I do love the OD, I always have. I love OD, uh, just a cool color. Uh, so I would, I would. they don't call this OD, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. It looks like an OD green. It's kind of got a dull finish, not a shiny finish. Uh, I figured they would have the color on the pack, but they don't. They just put a generic pack. Uh, but you can see, you can see Made in France on it. So I'm not lying about that. So uh, this would be my second XL, but the first one I didn't carry very long. I didn't carry long at all. It was it was uh, you know short lived because I lost it. Like I said, I don't normally lose them. So and it's been two three years, I guess, when I since I've done that video. So I have. I wanted to make a point in ordering me one. I've been wanting to order one. It just wasn't on the radar. So I got this one. Um, and like I said, I like it. And it's going to be my new everyday carry EDC pen. Uh, I've been using this one at work. I swap them out sometimes. And I love this orange. It, uh, you know, it's a great pen. These, these are nice pens, man. I don't... I don't care what anybody says. And for the money, for the money, 
$13.95 on, on this pen. For the money, you can't beat them. I mean, these, these pens are nice pens for the price you pay. You know, I know they could probably get more. I would, I would pay $30 for this pen, you know. I mean, I, I would, but I didn't. But I would pay $30 for this pen. Wouldn't have a problem with it. So, uh, just a great pen. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, it fits. Fits in your pocket. Good. So, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to start carrying it some. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I won't lose it again. Hopefully, it'll it'll stay with me for a while. So, uh, then what I'm going to do, maybe toward middle of the year, end of the year, or something like that, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a another, I'm going to do a better review on it, on what I think about it and what I've wrote with it, and I journal a lot. I journal a lot, so I'll probably journal with this. Now, I do use a fountain pen sometimes to journal when I'm here, taking notes and whatnot, so I use Parker's, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a review on this one, so just bear with me. So anyway, I hope everybody having, having a great Saturday. God bless you. Be safe out there, and subscribe to my channel if you like it. There's no sense in me doing these if nobody watches my channel and subscribes to it. Hit the bell. Hit the like. Please leave a comment if you if you like these pens. Don't, nothing political, nothing you know, nothing bad. Just or you can leave a, you know you can leave a bad review, but nothing you know profanity or nothing like that. So anyway, God bless you, and I will see you next time.